Good night, good morning, good afternoon, everyone. Today is June 14th, and this is the one off special call for microprofile compatibility branding and trademark discussion with Paul Back from the EMO and other items that we have in the minutes. Paul, you are here. Uh, will you like to take over and share whatever you document you want to share? Absolutely. Thank you. And I will drop a link. Uh to the spreadsheet that I'll be walking through. So apologies for not having a nice presentation, but um, what I wanted to do was um, walk you through all of the elements or components of a branding and trademark program. And um, this is patterned directly after Jakarta and it reflects um, the input that uh, you provided um, a while back, Amelia, or at least it did last time I looked. If there's been updates, then uh, there, there may be some tweaks here and there. Mm -hmm. So um, what I wanted to do was go through this with an eye to things that the community can and is doing and things that the Eclipse Foundation um, needs to do because it's a legal agreement um, or it's our responsibility uh, as ultimate stewards of the, of the trademark. And, uh, and you know, we can discuss as we go. And what is important to me is that everybody understands all of the pieces that need to snap together here in order for us to have a complete uh, branding and trademark system. And uh, where I say steering committee, what I really mean is not so much that somebody on the steering committee does it, but ultimately it's the steering committee's responsibility to see that it gets done. Whether or not it's done by some in the, somebody in the community in collaboration with people on the steering committee, you know, up, up to you. But I look at, we look at it as something that the steering committee takes ownership of and um, sees that it gets done. Paul, um, hold a second, and I love the, this thing. Will you like to be a staff to do it in the presentation for Q&A, or do you want to take on the, the questions at the end of the presentation? What do you prefer? I think at the end, because okay. Amelia, then it allow me to kind of walk Perfect. through it all. No, say no more. Oh, it's easy I know to dive into some of these things and then we, we lose the bigger picture. And my objective is really for you to walk away with the bigger picture in mind. And, uh, you, know, and if, you know, and I apologize that I'm going to be doing it with a spreadsheet, but and not, a, uh, not, a, no. not a presentation, but here we go. So go ahead. Yeah, there, there is some order here, but it's really um, the first part is everything that needs to come together in order to define a system. And then how do we um, support it once it's been defined? And uh, so there's just some steps up front that need to get done before we get in and more for just procedurally making sure that, uh, just make it a bit bigger. There we go. And uh, that we've got the necessary uh, um, governance in place. So, um, the steering committee needs to uh, determine if there's any customizations required for the EFSP. And in this case, uh, there were, um, and that work's all done. Next is the steering committee needs to vote to adopt the EFSP or the EFSP and customizations, which is the case of micro profile, that's done. Um, the next is that, that uh, if there were customizations to the EFSP, then um, those customizations need to be posted to the web. And to the best of my knowledge, that's that's not done yet. What do you, Paul, hold for me a second. Um, will we have a, a, um, an Excel sheet from like this for MicroProfile to do the checklist and, and work on it? I'm just thinking of the items. Yeah, this is MicroProfile. This this is for MicroProfile, and okay. I put a, I put this the link to the spreadsheet that I shared is it takes you into this spreadsheet. It's in the community folder under branding and compatibility. Excellent. Okay, thank you. Go ahead. You're welcome. And um, yeah, so that, that's it. And uh, so this, this one is not done, but I believe the customizations are out there in, in GitHub somewhere. So it's a pretty straightforward step to create a, um, a page that has that, those customizations listed. And over on the right here, I've included Jakarta's examples. So there's, uh, that's, that's the Jakarta um, specification process uh, web page. So we need one of those for, uh, for MicroProfile. 
Okay, and then uh, next is the vote on the patent option, and um, that is in progress. And um, should be established sometime soon, I think. So um, that, that's kind of all of the foundational work from a governance perspective that we need to put in place. And um, other than, um, you know, I think we're in good shape here um, with regards to getting all that, uh, all that done. Okay, next is the uh, definition of compatibility for microprofile. And um, let's see. So in the case of uh, microprofile, it will have a, um, have a specification um, for its, uh, its platform specification. And um, that document, I expect, will be the document that provides the, uh, you know, the governance, if you will, for compatibility. Implement, implement, implementing that, uh, that platform or profile, let's call it a platform specification, um, will be what um, um, is defined to be the definition of compatibility for, uh, for microprofile. Now, um, that feeds in to the um, compatible tra compatibility trademark guidelines. So in this case, um, there, you've all created the document, a document that is uh, uh, the trademark guidelines. It looks like it was patterned after, uh, after Jakarta's, which is, uh, you know, which is fine and dandy. And um, in this section here, it um, starts to define what it means to be, what, what the definition of compatibility is for microprofile. It says uh, uh, a compatible implementation of the microprofile by and use of the compatibility uh, TCKs of the event. Um, and, um, but what it, so it says compatible products, are, I mean, any products is certified as compatible implementations of the micro profile by use of the technology kits. Where this doesn't specify is um, whether or not it's a platform specification or the individual specifications, the individual specifications that are micro profile, the individual specifications that are part of Jakarta. That, that are brought into microprofile. So that degree of specificity is needed in order to have you know, clarity on what it means to be compatible. And we'll, I'll show you in a moment how that was done for Jakarta as- Paul, uh, yep. Paul before you go forward, can we like, I know you don't want to, to be interrupted, but uh, I, I believe that being sorted uh, in the microprofile. So it's a, uh, uh, yeah, so it's basically we define the compatible implementation in the past, all of these um, 80 included um, microprofile spec specification TCKs. That means uh, what's uh, for the compatible implementation for the release. Okay. Is that, is that, is that documented in the platform spec? Where is that captured? It's being uh, worked on actually. Uh, it's uh, being agreed and also is uh, kind of the being documented uh, in the photo one uh, release, photo one release. I think it's uh, in the spec, in the photo one spec release. Also, we have a pro program plan, also a document yeah. uh, on that issue as well. Yeah, yeah. So that's where I'm thinking. That here is where we it, this we add compatible implementation definition in the platform specification. So yeah. good that the, in concept it's known what it will be. Um, once it's defined, then we have something definitive that mm -hmm. we can plug into with the uh, required agreement. Yeah, it's okay. not. Yeah, and Emily, you were amazing. Um, that was a good interruption. So apologies for that, but I think it was needed. Uh, absolutely, no good. Uh, good, good question. And, and for me, uh, this needs to be a collaboration because I don't follow what you do as closely as, as you guys no, no, do. No, no, and you don't have to. And so you that's where, uh, where, you know, it, yeah. in certain areas, and particularly the definition of compatibility, it needs to be defined by the working group and, uh, and yeah. owned by the working group. And our objective here is to be able to codify it into a legal system that is the uh, trademark and compatibility program for microprofile. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, so we, we, will, we, we, we will not be able to get that done until 401 is um, completed because we are literally talking about it. So how do we communicate with 
the EMO, do we use the working group for updates or how do you prefer to get fed that information? Uh, that's a good question. The um, I, I think that um, we, if, 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 if at the end of this, if we like, we could turn this into a, um, a tracking spreadsheet and we could start tracking the items here and, um, and then use that as a way to uh, um, communicate um, the availability of uh, certain elements. I'm just thinking out loud. I'm not sure that's the best way, but- um, we, we can use the spreadsheet you created because it has a list, but MicroProfile uses its issues and we will convert all this we have converted many of the items already into get issues. Okay, so then, then what, what, what may make sense is to just, is, is so go please do go ahead and do that. And what may make sense is for me to drop a link to the issue here, yep. and then uh, I keep it all together in one place. But, uh, you know, something, you know, as long as they're in GitHub issues, I think we're fine. Because then we've got, we've got a record of it. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. Uh, it's... Emily, will that work? We yeah, the other thing is that because I literally t uh, earlier today I document uh, in the gate issue. So the other thing is, uh, uh, Paul, I can add a comment on here and uh, put a link to the gate issue. That's clear, specify what's been what's mean for the compatible implementation. That would be wonderful, Emily. Okay. All right, and so let's let's. Uh... Oh, hold on, before you go on, um, like because this is great, Paul. Oh. In the area where we said we will con we will want to continue keep keeping the control and the website, that takes us no time for us to add the specification, the microprofile specification. We have added it to the working group page, but we don't have it as a single page, and we can do that no problem. We would. It, it's to up to you. We just I, I, we just yeah. I think what, all we want is a link to somewhere so Perfect. somebody can find it. Con whether or not it's down. whether or not it's on its own page like the JESP mm -hmm. is. Uh, is um you know is uh, i think a matter of style perfect we will do that and in, i imagine that you are the owner of this document and not even the steering committee can adjust it but can we comment in the excel sheet? um yeah you go ahead and comment i mean a, my, my recommendation would be either put notes in the cells or add another you know we could add a, a another field on the right but uh this this one is just dropped into the uh, community folder, and uh, anyone can update it. I did version it before the call, just in case I need to unwind <laughs> something. But it's uh, there. Um, Go ahead. So let's, let's, let's let's keep going. So, uh, um, thanks for the discussion around the compatible implementation. And so now for the trademark guidelines, which we just uh, hang on. Let me go back here. The can you make the page, the page larger? It's very small. Oh. Uh, Thank you. Let's do that. How's that? It's still too small. That's perfect. Does that help? And yes. uh, you, you've got a link to it as well, so you can follow along. So um, the working, so the trademark guidelines, you've uh, created a draft of it. I mean, ultimately, uh, the Eclipse Foundation needs to review and approve it. Um, yeah, albeit uh, if you know, if, as long as you've stayed close to what was in Jakarta, I think this will be fairly straightforward. And the reason we need to review it and and approve it is because ultimately we're the we're the we're, we're the stewards on your behalf of this trademark and this program. So uh, you know, I, I expect this to be a quick a quick turnaround and something that uh, if there is input, it would be uh, you know helpful helpful for you to consider. Manish is here and he was the lead on the creation of this. Uh, we use the train, the Jakarta. I have a question about this. In the document, does it have to be, does it have to include the implementation patents in any way? Because we didn't have it at the time, that vote. No, no, the implementation patents that, the implementation option um, for the patent provision that will be, that's, will, that, that's reflected in the project and uh, at this, the, the specification project. So uh, we're fine in that regards. And this has to do with the compatibility program and um, won't have uh, the, what, the, the, the selection for the patent option won't be reflected and uh, won't need to be uh, shown here. Hope that answered the question. Okay, so next is the, um, uh, the document that you've authored, and um, and then next is uh, there's the 
Eclipse Foundation trademark usage guidelines. Let me just pop over to that so you can see what I. Now it looks like it's going to force me to. Let me just. Uh, there we go. Pause. Ah. Okay. This. Actually, that that document looks okay now. Um, it was revised since I put it up there. So actually, this one looks like um, we may be okay. The previous version of the um, logo guidelines included a reference to Jakarta, but it looks like that's been resolved. So next is the uh, trademark compatibility license agreement. This is the license agreement that uh, you have to enter into with the Eclipse Foundation um, in order to use the trademark. So uh, first things first is the trademark guidelines that you've authored. Um, you follow that with, and it, at one point it says, and you need to enter into the, uh, this trademark license agreement. And um, this is one that we will draft specifically for Jakarta, or sorry, for, uh, for micro profile. And the areas that we will update are sections A, B, and, uh, and C. And what I want to draw your attention to is, is section C. Because in section C, this is where we call out for Jakarta the uh, specifications that you need to be compatible with in order to use the logo. So in the case of Jakarta, it's either the platform specification or the web profile. And so um, back to the discussion we were having earlier with regards to the definition of compatibility for micro profile, this is where we would list the specifications that you'd need to be, to, uh, and, you know, somebody who wanted to use the compatibility logo would need to, um, need to be compliant with. We, uh, Paul, and this, um, we have not had the discussion yet. Right, I'm just referring back to what uh, Emily said on when, yeah. we were, when we were back up here. Once yeah, yeah. Uh, this definition of compatibility, ultimately when we're done, we will be reflecting that definition yeah. with the set of specifications in Schedule C. And that means that anyone that wants to use the logo They've got to uh, they've they've got to follow these guidelines, and they've got to enter into the uh, this license agreement, which uh, we're seeing the Jakarta version here. Yeah, makes sense, Paul. Thank you. All right, and so uh, there's also paragraph one point nine. Why did I tell? So we think we've got to update paragraph one. Uh, I think paragraph one point nine points to schedule C. Yeah, that's the linkage in the to schedule C right here. So that's, uh, that's, that's, that's how it all snaps together. Okay, so then we've got the, the trademark guidelines, we, we've got a uh, trademark um, license agreement. And uh, once we have that agreement, we create a, you know, a PDF of it. Um, and for ease of signature, we will um, turn it into a document or an agreement that can be signed electronically so that it's a, uh, a simple uh, digital signature step in order to enter into that agreement. And um, next thing we need, of course, is uh, for Jakarta, it's got its uh, compatibility logo and, uh, and micro profile is working on a compatibility logo. I believe it's uh, you know a contour. A, um, your a poll is underway to gather input from yeah. uh, from the community. Mm -hmm. We 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 will we are explaining. We we, we the plan is to explain the submissions and how they look in real life, so that we can choose the ones that will go into the vote. So yes, it's ongoing. Okay. So our request here is, uh, since we'll be registering that logo on your behalf that at some point before it's finalized, you request input from our trademark office. Yes, we will. This so is that, yeah, 
So then we can look it over, you know, and based on, uh, you know, you know, our, you know, our experience in these matters, we can provide guidance with regards to the uh, trademark ability. And, um, and you, you can consider the guidance and then, uh, you know, once the logo is finalized, then we will go through the step to register that, uh, that logo. And uh, hopefully by um, having the, uh, taking our input where you'll, we'll be in a position to be able to do that in a uh, effective and efficient manner. So then we uh, um, will register the logo and then it'll uh, be a registered, uh, registered logo type. And then there's the brand usage handbook that uh, a draft is, uh, exists that uh, we have here. And uh, I think this was uh, likely Ryan's handiwork. Yeah, and, we. Uh, yep. This looks like an older version, but uh, I can send you a, an updated version if you'd like. All right. Yeah, I went to the issue probably about three weeks ago. <laughs> it's totally yeah. fine. Yeah, so that was the so th thank you. So all I wanted to do was to make the point that uh, that that the community is authoring that that uh, that brand usage handbook. It does need to reflect brand usage for the compatibility logo wants to find, and uh, this will be another case of um, we there's a review and approve step from the Eclipse Foundation um, solely because uh, we're the stewards of the ultimate stewards of the trademark. But again, I don't expect there's going to be much input from us. Um, I expect it'll just be a formality for us to pass through it and say, good to go here. So those are all of the um, elements, if you will, that we need to um, create in order to have a branding and compatibility trademark system, at least the, uh, the governance elements. Um, the next um, step is, um, and I'll, I'll speak in terms of Jakarta, which is um, Jakarta has a compatible products page. It's where you want to list compatible implementations. Um, any vendor having um, followed the trademark guidelines, having entered into the, uh, um, the, the uh, trademark license agreement can use the logo on their product. If they're, if they're in full compliance with uh, the uh, trademark guidelines and the license agreement. If, however, they want to get on the compatible products page, and I assume that uh, MicroProfile will have a compatible products page, um, then um, there needs to be some governance around how do you get listed. And um, you can take a look at what Jakarta did for their get listed um, steps, and uh, many of you have probably already taken a look at it. I um, mean, it, it needs to be defined for MicroProfile. And I think a lot of that can be done by the community. In the case of Jakarta, it was done by marketing and the web dev team. Um, you know, that's uh, it, whether or not that's done by the community is, uh, or the foundation is, uh, is something of discussion. Um, the step that uh, the, the foundation will reserve is uh, if somebody wants to get listed, um, then we, we can provide an authoritative uh, um, you know, position on whether or not the, uh, the, the organization has in fact entered into the trademark license agreement with us and whether or not their uh, TCK results have been made available and sent to tck at eclipse.org, which, yeah. which is a compliant step in the uh, um, TCK license. I um, see that as a way forward as well. I, I like how the Eclipse Foundation tackles that side, but you own, in the Jakarta side, you own the entire process. We would like to keep that process towards us, but then we in collaboration with you, with the EMO, to make sure that that member maybe have signed the agreements and make sure that the TCK is actually passing in all the yeah. compliance. Yeah, yeah, and so this whole get listed um, thing over in Jakarta is, um, is what, uh, what what the marketing team did with input from the steering committee. Um, you know, I, this is one way to do it. It's, uh, it, you know, it's, you know, there's ultimate you know, different ways of getting it done. The, the GitHub issue seemed to work. And as well, the, um, when you create the issue, it links to a, um, the certification request 
that was done. It's basically everything that's needed. So um, you know, many in the micro profile community are quite quite familiar with this and um, whether or not it's the same approach for micro profile is uh, you know, for community consideration. Um, we just wanna make sure that, that all the I's are, you know, are dotted and the T's are crossed. So when a logo shows up on the compatible products page that uh, it's good to be there. I mean, ultimately, just like with Jakarta, um, we don't review the test results. We rely on a certification request going to the spec project and the spec project uh, um, providing the, uh, you know, the, the definitive plus one that the, uh, uh, the test results are good. All right, so um, that's the, this section here. So and I, I put this as TBD because I think it's an AO, you know, it's, it's something that needs to be worked out and, and hasn't been fully yet. I included here for completeness. Um, because uh, if you want a compatible products page, something like this um, will be required. Whether or not it's you know just like this is uh, you know to be determined. So once we have uh, the uh, the branding compatibility system and a, uh, and optionally this compatible products page, which uh, you know I'd highly recommend doing because it uh, gets a lot of uh, a lot of you know. It, it really drives a lot of value into the brand because just like Jakarta, clients can go to that page and see that uh, the product that uh, they're interested in is on the compatible products page. So um, once we're up and going, so that's you know everything above this row 25 is, is everything that we need to get in place in order to get to the point where we have a compatible products page, a, a compatible logo, trademark license agreement, trademark usage guidelines, and uh, then we need to, uh, we're, you know, we're up and running. And the ongoing support is, um, I'm gonna make this bigger again, oops, bigger again, is are the things that the Eclipse Foundation needs to do in order to keep things running smoothly. So let me just hide these columns. Hide these columns. There we go. And so once we've got a trademark, we've got to do maintenance and enforcement. So we've got to review new information to ensure that there is no encroachment. As uh, you know, as um, as you know, others start to use logos like that, we need to uh, uh, make sure that uh, that trademark is you know is is being properly used, and and no one else is trying to hijack it. Um, we've got to investigate any, any reports of infringement and, um, you know, start opposite, start any opposition or litigation as required. And uh, it all, th your mileage will vary on this one. It's really hard to know um, whether or not uh, we end up having to do a lot in this space, whether or not it just moves along um, smoothly. Some of it comes down to what logo you choose to use and whether or not it's one that uh, is close to somebody else's that they uh, decide that, uh, you know, they want to do something about. So, uh, uh, but this is something that we need to do in order to uh, uh, be uh, stewards of that uh, trademark on your behalf. Administration compatibility branding program. So, uh, you know, what I just basically said, uh, we've got to uh, um, see that the, uh, that uh, those that are saying are, they're compatible um, are uh, in compliance with the TCK license. And often this is more of an exception situation if something comes to our attention that uh, there's a, a problem and we investigate. The uh, trademark license agreement, it needs to be entered into, maintained, and uh, we need to be able to provide a definitive position with regards to whether or not that agreement is signed and on file. And, and that ties to this get listed request verification step that I talked to above. And whether or not there's any work that we need to do on behalf of the uh, community for the web page that is used for compatible products or the, or the get listed issue and so on is something that uh, you know, is to be determined as- uh, We will do that work. Anything websites is going to be done by the community, will continue to be done by the community. I think we have stated it many times. So you can delete it, um, that section. What I can so uh, what I can take away is uh, this. Yes, yes, we will maintain the website. Um, uh, in these kind of things. Okay. 
Yeah. Okay, and, and then um, the uh, ongoing uh, maintenance, or sorry, uh, implementation and administration of the uh, of this of the specification process, is something we do on behalf of uh, all uh, Eclipse Foundation working groups that are that have uh, spec projects. Maybe rather than deleting that, you just change the assignment. If it's important. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, That's a good idea. <laughs> yeah, so why don't I add, uh, I'll add another, add a row. Yeah, and while, while you do that using our feedback, can, can, we stop, can we start with the questions and wondering things? You know, um, one of the things that I would like to push here is, I understand why you use the string committee, because that is what is listed under the working group. But is it possible for us to change it to working group member? Working group. The thing is that most of the work done <clears throat> currently under the three marks is being done by contributors, not even committers. So in respect to the work done, I would be a little bit much more comfortable if under the working group, we actually write working group because a steering committee are a few members, like the members, but we're talking about an entire ecosystem of newcomers that have come together and helped. And I'm much more comfortable <clears throat> saying working group. You can do MPWG, and then that will cover just less labels because we don't have a specification committee. That's confusing as well. So my preference is to simplify it by saying working group. Yeah, that's the... Um... So the only areas that, um, let's see. So what's the difference the, between uh, a steering these committee? Ones, uh, sorry, go ahead. Yeah, I mean, I was just curious because I've, I've heard these two terms in various capacities. So steering committee and working group, how do we differentiate between these two exactly? Well, the steering committee is defined in the charter and it has a membership um, structure that is also defined in the charter. And it's a formal body in the governance of the working group. And, um, and so the steering committee has responsibilities. And so um, what some of these things, for instance, the, this is a governance step. The, uh, um, adopting the EFSP, um, EFSP with customized uh, voting to adopt EFSP with customizations. I'm um, creating a process web page. You know that, to me, is working. It could be you just change it to working group. Yeah. So, so that does not need to be working the working group. Vote mm -hmm. on the patent option. That is a steering committee governance step. Yes. Um, the determine definition of compatibility is, um, it, it, I mean, it's ultimately, it's, um, if, if something you know, ultimately the definition of compatibility, it, it's, uh, it's, 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 it's uh, a steering committee owned responsibility will, will be reflected in your platform spec that the steering committee will define and, and approve. Right. So based on, uh, I think uh, based on what Paul said, and uh, just uh, to give a kind of quick uh, summary, so it's a uh, Niha, is a uh, micro profile steering committee is the same as the spec committee. We didn't differentiate them. So in Jakarta, which is different. So basically steering committee is making like a uh, decision maker and spec committee more like uh, execution. Okay. Yeah, and Neha, Neha, really good question. Um, Paul, can you delete the specification committee from the um, line num row number four as well? Just keep anything that needs a vote. This is how I, ca I call it. If it needs a sitting committee vote, it needs to say a sitting committee. But if it doesn't need a vote, it's just a working group. And that is how I, 
I consume this information. In a so way working with group is a wider audience that may include the steering Correct. committee as well. Correct, Neha. Yeah. This is why it's so important to differentiate and to um, to, to to list it here. Yep, I agree. Uh, so you want me to change line four? Yeah, just remove, please remove the specification committee and just leave a steering committee. We we don't use- Oh, that's we, fine. Yeah, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. Yeah. I just put more in there for, uh, um, it was more of an or. And in this yeah. case, there isn't an or, there is just a steering committee. Mm -hmm. So for the for the register logo, that should be um, or oh, none is good. Um, let's see. Anyone else sees anything amiss? Clearly, we can follow up and make comments um, on this. Hey, Paul, when they set up the uh, Jakarta EE, um, the electronic signature thing, but do you think that was worth it? Should we personally add? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, so maybe we yeah, here, just. Um, yeah, here's um, why I say no is because I think there are eight companies that signed it. You know. And uh, and what's and if you actually go to that page, it, uh, it you you get the hello sign. You don't actually get a copy of the agreement. So actually, I'm not I'm not a big fan of this one. Just okay, we delete it. <laughs> so we change it to just you know they they return a signed agreement via electronic mint form. Yeah, yeah. So let's. Uh, you know, um, my question for this: Does anyone else aside from Ed has questions? on what you have heard for the last 40 minutes. All right, so Paul, oh, yeah. go ahead, uh, yeah. Um, only one uh, remark because um, the vote on implementation patent license um, ends today. Only a few are missing with their vote. Mm -hmm. Neha, we need the Garden Jack to vote. Can you tackle them, please? Yep, yep, definitely. Um, I have a meeting with them today. I'll remind them. John, you're you're rocking it. Who else is missing, John? Uh, Payara, I think. We don't have anyone for Payara. Does anyone, Neha? Do you want to contact Debbie and say, can you can someone else vote? Um, uh, if you don't have her email, I can give it to you. Just see me later. Sure, I'll find her. Mm -hmm. I will. Uh, Ajak, I think, is missing too. Um, Ajak, also? Okay. Yeah. I will, I will uh, like, uh, contact um, Piara Rudy because uh, he's the one supposed to vote uh, okay. as well. So it's uh, make sure he will vote. So, uh, I have a question related to this, uh, this one. Uh, I mean, uh, yeah, have you finished your question? Yes. Okay, so Paul, so mm -hmm. in the status here, you said uh, Eclipse, uh, yeah, not done. Uh, which one is the unit action from us? Uh, which one like uh, Eclipse Foundation need to do? Uh, okay, so um, this is with, uh, so row six is with the steering committee and the vote, I, I, will, I will watch for that vote wrapping up. And when the results are posted, I'll change this to done. Oh, sorry, that's this one here. Um, when this is posted, um, uh, it, this one is with the uh, working group and maybe I'll just change it to not done. And- uh, We can complete it this week. Yeah, so it just when it's done, then we can update that to done. Um, this one is with the uh, is with the 4.1 release plan, so that one's with the uh, with the community, and um, when we have that 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 platform spec, then um, we can then then that can move to done, and um, this one, the working group compatibility trademark guidelines. If you if 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 from your perspective, it's 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 you know, it reflects all of the input that you have, then uh, we can take a look at it and provide any input we've got. Um, hold for me a second. Manish, you are here. Um, have we received any other feedback 
from months ago when we finished the document? Uh, uh, hi, am I audible? Yes, you are. Yes, so all the suggestions were, were applied. I think after that, no, after the suggestions are made. Okay, so Manish, you are comfortable for us to review it one more time and maybe give it 24 hours? Well, what we can do, Manish and us will work on this and then we will submit it via the git issue that is currently at work via the working group and you can you and the team can do their their job by the end of the week is that okay i'm not sure we'll get it done by the end of the week but uh no 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 i mean from us okay <laughs> go ahead we are going to do the handoff i am no, talking about handoff. Gotcha. We, don't, we don't control your time we're talking about the handoff got it okay all right uh, that's good Manish, and, uh, can we do the, go ahead paul no, I'm fine. That's. Uh, I, 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 Can we add a comment here? At least we remember which one. Is, uh, yeah, uh, go for it. For the right. rule, should I? Okay, I will go ahead to add a comment. On or the, feel free to add a column as well if that yeah. would be more convenient for everybody. In 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 Paul, can you please change the uh, line ten? Is working group. This has been worked with the. Work, it's not a city committee. Everyone in the working group, including partners, have done the work on this so it's working group and instead of sitting committee and Manish is a new contributor not so new now on his way to committer status um what will be important though is that the steering committee also it, review and it, and approve this uh because it, it's uh this is why I said at the end of the week we can send it um I think Ed will say I'm on my, my, he might say that we should send it for a review and give us seven days, not for ballot voting, but everyone enough time to review it until next Tuesday. Ed, I am throwing you here. Would you be comfortable if you didn't, if you weren't in this call and you didn't know all the work that we have done, but you were there with us, how will you feel if you had seven days to review it? Will you be okay with it? Um, yeah, I could do that, definitely. Yeah, but you, but I'm talking about if you had no idea about the trademarks. Seven days? <laughs> well, I already went through this once before. I know. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I'm, no, I'm just saying it's hard for me to put myself in a position where I, I don't know any of this. <laughs> but you need to think of, we need to think well, about it. It took us a fair amount of time to do this in Jakarta. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So then, um, Paul, we, we do want everyone to review it again because it has been months. So let us review it and we will hand it over via the working group, via Git issue. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so that does anyone else have more questions? Because I do have a question about budget. Oh. <laughs> so, uh, huh? So is uh, so are you happy? Like I added a column with the action. Yeah, so I like it. Quickly, like it. quickly have a go through this one before we dive into budget. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, my recommendation is let's get alignment on this and then come back and have a discussion about budget because my priority for today mm -hmm. was to get to a common understanding of everything that needed to get done. Yeah, yeah. Okay. sounds okay. fair to me. I think is uh, if we know down the action, we agree on the action and then we can move on. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to back off on that one. Paul, then can we in number 16 take away the digital signature? We prefer you know if this is what this is i will say not about the budget and budget and be specific but if something is just elegantly costly can we just drop it and in these things like the digital signature right um we'll yeah, so uh, and this one you know on one hand we're, it'll be a, a manual process versus an automated process i i my i took the action to um request to delete this step i want to go to the uh the, the emo records and say, you know, do we really need this? And uh, get them to say, yeah, we're fine doing the uh, the manual approach. Let's do it. It's more efficient for everybody. So, uh, you know, that's. But I, I definitely hear you on that one, and uh, I, I won't repeat the comments that I already made because I okay. think no, it, no, it, Paul, you were extremely clear. Um, my other suggestion for this sheet because it's really good especially with all the tickets that we have ongoing at the moment, is there is a legal section. So can we add subtitles on the items? Because 
that are like documents that are agreements. So I call that legal, right? And you you can simplify it and make it much more consumable, at least as a reader. And I have seen this before, but legal is one and it's important, it's costly. So do you see? I would like for us to add one action, one extra line that says one-time costs. And I know this is, I'm not going into details with the budget. Oh, so, the, the, you know, um, Amelia, essentially everything, this is all one-time cost. Yes, but it doesn't say it in here. And I know it, but something uh, new would it not need know It needs to be, I think, Amelia. Um, yeah. No, no, it's perfect. What I'm talking they about have to is create the uh, the process, the program, and yes. stuff like this, and then we have the ongoing costs uh, from line uh, 26. I think that's obvious, and it's not a point uh, having the budget uh, defined here. Mm -hmm. um, what I think um, in the uh, uh, column B and C, uh, there are the responsibilities not. Uh, the people who are doing uh, the action. So um, at the end, we will have a lot of votes about the results after the review uh, of the working group work. Um, yeah, John, I agree. And Paul, your one-time setup, that's perfect. Simplified, really easy level consumable. Everyone, a child of seven years old can read this and be like, I understand. I hope so. Um, that's the goal. Okay. Maybe a footnote uh, would make that clear. No. Mm -hmm. Yes. But uh, John, you have access to this page. So you can add the comments and say, hey, let's improve it. Um, because ideally, um, this is going to be added into history and the working group page that we have. And everyone will have access to this document. Paul, am I okay to, uh, to, to think that this document will continue to stay in the community external um, because we are adding tracing on how we get the stuff done, what went down, and also this likely will be shared with other working groups. I have been sharing stuff with many other working groups under the Eclipse Foundation, and they find it extremely helpful. So I wanna make sure that that is okay in the level of, you will not delete the document anytime. No. No, okay. no. But if you guys edit it beyond recognition, I can't figure it out anymore. No, 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 no. This then is I'll be creating another one that looks yeah, like Yeah, yeah. This is why I'm saying us, we shouldn't be editing. We should be um using suggestion mode to not to, to notify you of what we think should be improved. I mean I it, this is for our collaboration. So right. you know if if it needs to change to facilitate the collaboration, then it needs to change. Yeah, I think if like we are changing like here in the meeting is uh, because Paul is here, I can clearly see yeah, we discuss perfect. change, but offline, uh, it makes sense to like a suggestion mode. Yes. Uh, and, yeah. So mm -hmm. I think I think uh, it's good because here is uh, already seen one time setup. Mm -hmm. And uh, also I'm conscious about time. We have six minutes. Are we clear about action? Uh, I mean, per atom. So can we can we quickly document what action we should take on? Like uh, which action micro profile need to do, which is action in the four Eclipse Foundation? It's already listed here in column C. <laughs> That's what I, no, it's a kind of the column C is that like uh, at uh, what the Yan said is the responsibility. What I mean is uh, kind of the, some something is done, something that need to be done. Uh, and uh, even though is the owner is the working group, however, sometimes is kind of even though like uh, for the uh, row nine is uh, kind of owned by working group, however, Eclipse Foundation need to just uh, double check and then they will mark as done. So that kind of action what I'm looking for. So is I think that uh, the point is the drafting. I think that's that's information. I think is uh, good. Uh, so we know. Uh, I mean, we need to focus uh, and to get uh, things ball rolling. So Emily, you want if if something needs to be done that is in collaboration closely with the Eclipse Foundation, you want in the actions row the Eclipse Foundation Paul, for in this case to write out stuff for us to know. Is that what you want? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's 
Uh -huh. Yeah. So in this way, we know uh, like uh, Eclipse Foundation is waiting for us. Okay. So then, and, and Paul, is that okay when, if you are no. going to change? Go I ahead. think Paul is already doing it. So he is perfect. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, so my, follow me is like immediate actions, right? Like what yes. what's being pending and yes. what's yeah. the next immediate thing that needs to be done. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Okay. And then once we approve then that uh, kind of actions can be mm -hmm. IA or can be removed. Yeah. So, so Paul, is it okay for you when you adjust things in action row E, can you send a message to the working group with a title on row A and just submit the, the, the link of the document? This is my suggestion to you so mm -hmm. that you know how to work with us. Submit it to the working group forum and you can BCC the steering committee. We don't use that forum, but it's nice that everyone can read it on the steering committee. And you can say, this item has been updated. That's it. You don't have to write a Bible, but just because if you change things, you cannot expect us to know this document. We need to be informed. Just like you came a month ago and say, hey, I don't know what is happening with the trademarks. Can you tell us? So immediately we said we would use a working group forum. Can you do that for us? And like that, we are 365 in communication. Okay. Okay. Are the things that we are dependent on yes. is the logo. Mm -hmm. And that is work in pro progress and there is a mailing list on it. Mm -hmm. and, and, and the compatibility requirements. So in what kind of format you want for the compatibility requirement, Paul? Do we, when we release four one, we just point out, point out that uh, like a paragraph or? Well, we I mean, if we to... look for Jakarta. Oh, I'm, this I'm not sure why the namespace is here and it'll probably, oh, okay. probably won't need it. But right. uh, um, that's, you know, I, it, this could say micro profile platform. Okay, my micro profile uh, platform really, I see. Uh, basically you want us to, to create uh, the micro profile trademark license. So we will we will create the okay. trademark license agreement. This is a document that we own. Oh, okay. We need your input. Yeah. We need you to tell us what oh, is compatible. You know? Because yeah. uh, when we go into this trademark agreement, this trademark license yeah. agreement, we see section one, Yes. Enable creation of compatible implementations included section C. So if yes. we go through all the agreement, it all kind of snaps together and uh, mm -hmm. the ingredients that we need to, you know, inject in here so that it can be the micro profile trademark license agreement is we need to know mm -hmm. what specification or what profile yeah. or what platform will be yes. in schedule C. So then when somebody enters into this agreement, it, they'll know that in order to fully to execute this agreement, they need to be compatible with the uh, platform specification for micro profile. Assuming okay. that's yeah, yeah, I'm I'm clear now. So which one you ask for? So in what kind of format do you want the information for? Is that okay? We create a git issue and say, Paul, uh, this is a section like a C schedule C. We put this and and one point nine. You need to put that. So or you request for email or something. Get issue. Issue is fine. Then it's tracked. Mm -hmm. But it uh, in this case it needs to be a, uh, a a ratified final release of the platform specification. Right. Uh, I see. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. yeah. yeah. But I want to stop at, because we have eleven o'clock. Is it yeah, possible for us to add a, a new a new a new row that says git issue under after the names of working group? Can you please add git issue? So like that, I will take the, the, the task on adding all the, the git issues that I know are open and then just link them in there after this go oh, sometime today, actually. Emily, okay. can you can you I, add, I think, I think can you add, 
<laughs> Sorry. Hey, I think ahead. Amelia, you can use the action column directly put a link to the Git issue. It's not, it's going to get lost because action columns with, has, uh, has um, words and then the other one is going to just have Git issue number. That's it, number. And it's super simple. You can click on it only for those ones that want to spend time reading the Git issue. Not everyone cares. Okay, I'll, I'll check back in later. I, I've got to drop yes. the conflict. Yeah. Oh, okay. So cool. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for um, presenting the documentation. Thanks everyone for joining this call. It was, I hope it was valuable. It was valuable to me. And any last words before we go, because we have to go. It's good to end it on time. So we discussed the, uh, the other item in the agenda in the next Monday yes. call. They need to okay. be moved. Yeah. They say not discussed, and then we need to move them to next week to general or whatever yeah, they sure. thank you okay. so much everyone really good call thanks everyone Hi. Yeah, well, Bye. Hey, thank you well, thank you thank you for collaborative collaborative conversation today it was very helpful thank you very much oh. yeah great thank you yeah. bye-bye everyone, bye. everyone yeah. can provide feedback on bye the bye everyone bye bye, -bye. bye.